Hi, my name is Romain Cousin, I am a motion designer, and this video is a tutorial about Randomatic, which is my very first script for After Effects. The main purpose of Randomatic is to create some randomness to a group of selected properties. So let's jump into it and let me show you how it works with a few examples. In this first example scene, I just set a few lines with shape layers, and they are basically identical and it's a pretty boring scene, so I want to random their width. So all I have to do is to select all my layers. I type width, so I can select all these properties. And now I have to choose between one of the three options, the static random, the animated random, or the wiggle. But for this first example, I want to keep it simple, so I will keep the default value, the static random. And then I click on randomatic. In the process, Randomatic created a new expression on every selected properties, and it also created a new layer at the top, which is called Randomatic Controllers. And on this layer, there is an effect which allows you to control this randomness. By default, the minimum and the maximum sliders are set from 0 to 100. So it means the, the stroke width will be set randomly between 0 and 100 pixels. And for this example, I will set them maybe between 20 and 60. And if you're not satisfied with this particular result, you can change it easily with the random generator. So every time I change this number, it will also change the final result. And I will maybe keep um, this one, for example. We can also work with increment. So if I turn it on, the increment value by default is set to 10, and if you look at these values, you can see that there are multiples of 10. And you can set it just to 1 if you want, and it's uh, really useful if you need to work with rounded values. Now I want to random the position, so I will select only this first line. I select the position, and this time I will select the animated random option. I click on randomatic, and for the second line, I will also random the position, but this time I will select the wiggle option. And then I click on randomatic. Something pretty weird happened. Well, it's not that weird, but I don't think this is what you expected when I click on randomatic. It's simply because by default, randomatic works in absolute. So it means that the values that are here are set directly for the position, and it doesn't keep the initial values. But for this example, I want to keep these initial um, values, and I only need to uncheck the absolute button, both in the animated random and the wiggle option, and now we can get some more interesting results. I want them to vary maybe between minus 50 and positive 50, uh, both in X and Y axis, and both for the animated random and the wiggle. And as they are both animated options, I can hit play and you can see the result directly and compare these two effects. As you can see, the wiggle option, this is a, this bottom line, is more fluid than this one. And these two effects, the animated random and the wiggle, do not have uh, exactly the same options. For example, the wiggle, you have the ability to make a loop, and it can be pretty convenient for the web animation, for example. But for the animated random, you can set different type of easing. You have four type. And if I set it to linear, for example, and if you see this top line, you can see that it's very different now. You can also work with the posterized time option, so if I check it, we can have a sort of a stop motion look. And I will uncheck this, and you can see that both on these two lines, um, the movements are pretty synchronized, and it's because every layer have the same uh, speed, so I can simply change the speed random, maybe to 20%. And now you can see that it's a bit more organic, they do not have exactly the same speed. So this is pretty much it for the numerical properties, and now I will show you the fancy part of the script, the colors option, and I really think that you will enjoy them. The first color option that I want to show you is the gradient. So as for the numerical properties, I have to select first uh, the property, and this time this is the color. So I type color, I select all these properties, and I still need to choose between uh, one of these 
uh, options, but I can't this time for the colors, I can't uh, choose the wiggle, so I will have to choose between static and animated. I will choose the animated and I will keep the gradient option. This is the default value. I click on Renomatic and by default we get this sort of uh, orangish colors and the gradient is the simplest color option to use. All you have to do is to select two colors and it will randomly pick uh, a color in between. So if I change the color, if I choose maybe a blue and if I choose uh, a green for example, you will get this kind of uh, results. And as I select the animated random, I can hit play and it will change over the time. I can set it to 2 per second for example and maybe increase the speed random and we will get this. It's really simple to use. The second option, the second color option is the palette and it's very convenient because in almost every project you have to respect a graphical charter with specific colors and I already apply um, the script and all I have to do is to unfold the palette and to pick all these colors and I also need to indicate the number of colors that I want to use. In this case it's 5. It's really important because if I just set maybe 2, it will only uh, take in consideration the first two colors and even if I set three other colors. So I really need to indicate the right number. And finally, the last color option is the HSL. The HSL is maybe the more complicated uh, color option and HSL means hue, saturation and luminosity. So if I play with the luminosity slider, if I push it to 100%, you can see the result. That you can see that we have some circles with pure black color and some other with pure white and some values in between. And it's the same for the saturation. If I push it to 100%, you will have some highly saturated circles and some unsaturated. And finally, the so U is from 0 to 360 degrees. And basically, the so U is the color. So if I push it to 360, you will get this kind of crazy result. And if I change the random generator, it will uh, change like this. And the main interest of this particular uh, effect is to mix these three sliders. So, for example, if I set 20 to all the sliders, you will get this kind of result and I think it's pretty interesting because you can't get uh, this kind of result with the gradient or the palette. Well, this tutorial is finished. I really hope that you understood everything and especially that I made you want to try Randommatic. You can download it on ascripts.com slash randommatic and it's a name your own price product so you can download it for free and I am completely okay with this. But if you use it often or if you use it in a professional workflow, please think about the possibility of making a donation, even just a small one, but it will really encourage me to make some updates or even maybe write some other scripts. Of course, if you want to contact me, if you have any problem or if you have any question, or if you want to show me what you just did with Randomatic, please don't hesitate. You can contact me through Ascripts or Facebook, Twitter or whatever social media. And I am really curious to see what you're going to achieve with this tool, so please don't hesitate. Well, I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.